Hi friends, Chitra here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to plot the moving averages. Okay, and plotting the labels of these different moving averages using the label function. This is the code snippet we have written in the last video to plot the multiple moving averages. Now we will do a small change in the code snippet to capture the moving averages values in a variable. So this will help us on the performance of the Pine script as well as the readability of the code. So here we are using the four moving averages that is 5 EMA, 20, 100 and 200 moving averages. All right. So uh, now we can see the uh, you know, colors also the five moving averages red in color and 20 moving averages is green in color and the uh, 100 moving averages is blue in color. 200 moving average is the black in color. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to save this. and click on update on chart in a chart this is the x axis and this is the y axis so in order to draw a label we need to know the coordinates of x and y so in order to find the x we use the method called bar state and to identify the y we use the corresponding moving average value so you can follow the steps what i'm typing here So now click on update on chart. So here we can see the moving average label. So this red color is for the five moving averages. So this label we can see is for the five uh, EMS label. All right. So now we are going to you know, label the other moving averages value also. So the 20 uh, EMA, 100 and 200 EMA also we need to you know, see the label on the trading view. That values also will get plotted. So we are going to change the code. EMA2, EMA3, EMA4 and also in the color part we are going to change the second moving average color to green which is 20 EMA and the third moving average is blue which is 100 moving average and the last moving average that is black in color which is 200 moving average. Alright, now click on save and update on chart. So here on the trading view we can see the four moving averages which is red, green, blue and black. This is for the 5 minutes. Okay. 
So now we are going to change the time from 5 to 15 minutes. All right. So with the 15 minutes time frame also we can see the moving averages for the 15 minutes. Okay. This is the uh, no moving average of 100 moving average in 15 minutes time frame. This is the 15 minutes 200 EMAs label. All right. So when you change the time frame even to 3 minutes also we can see the moving averages label changed from 15 to 3 minutes. So if you want to see the label we have changed the code here. All right. So if you see the labels, we can see the style. Okay. So if you want to change the style parameter based on our requirement, we can change it. So I'm going to change the style for the last EMA that is the 200 moving average. So I will show you how to change that. Click on update on chart. Okay. So for the other moving averages, we can see that is in a rectangle box uh, type. Now we can see only the you no know, values here. It is readable also. So it is uh, giving more clarity when compared to the previous uh, moving averages because of the color we are not able to see it properly. So we can change like this also based on our requirement. So when you see here this uh, labels, Okay, if you want to round off this uh, number by using the math function, we can round off the value value to the whole number. Okay, so first we are going to change for the 5 moving average. Okay. For the 200 moving averages, uh, we are going to change the you know, uh, value to a whole number. So we are going to change for all the moving averages. Click on update on chart. Okay. So now when you see before we, we have uh, seen the labels in decimal. Now the values got changed into the whole number. 200 EMA we can see it as 23,740. Okay. And uh, no green EMA that is uh, 20 EMA 24,062. And the uh, 5 moving averages 24,035. And blue EMA 100 moving averages at 23,900. All right. We can uh, change the you know, um, uh, index to index to bank nifty also. So we can see the labels for bank nifty also. The four uh, moving averages label in the 15 minutes time frame we are seeing now. The 200 moving averages for the bank nifty in the 15 minutes time frame is 52,024. All right. So we are seeing the different moving averages labels. When you change the time frame even to 30 minutes or even one hour daily time frame also we can uh, change. So for every candle, the values get plotted. So for that, we need to delete the historical values. Click on save and click on update on chart. So one more small change we are going to do is we are we will add a small checkbox. Okay, if the label is required, we will disable or we can enable it. Click on save and click on update on chart. Okay. Now go to the settings. 
here we have an option called show label so if that checkbox is checked then only we can see the you know uh, uh, values that is the labels of the particular uh, stock or for part particular index if you don't want we can uncheck that uh, checkbox all right so this is the change we have done so now i am uh, no unchecking the show label so we are not seeing the um, no labels on the right hand side here we are not seeing the labels okay so if i click on show label and click on okay then we can see the particular uh, moving averages label on the right hand side all right so this is the entire code snippet we have learned as a part of this video okay so we need to understand that why we added the delete statement so i am going to show that in the replay mode Hope you understood why we have added the delete statement. Hope this video is useful to you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon too for my upcoming video notifications. Thank you for watching.